The devil's in the detail, but if you get it right, you're gonna take your scene to a whole new level. Stay tuned for this one. Lately in my masterclass, we have been talking a lot about the microcosmos of singing. I just started using that word just because it seemed to be able to describe what I mean so well. So let me explain to you what I mean by the microcosmos. Now you can sing through any song phrase in a lot of different ways, but if you do pay attention to details, that's when it's gonna get really good. That's where you're gonna make a big difference between just singing down pitches or actually artistically being very musical. Let me demonstrate. So here I got your song by Elton John. I think everybody knows this. So if I just sang the pitches, it's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. Don't have much money, but boy, if I did, I'd buy a big house where we both could live. I'm not really good at not doing any details, but it was kind of very uninteresting and I just kind of sang through it. Let's see if you hear the difference. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. Don't have much money, but boy, if I did, I'd buy a big house where we both could live. So the devil's in the detail. Let me do it in slow motion, kind of slowing it down a little bit. Instead of going, it's a little bit funny. Notice what happens when I speak. It's a little bit funny. See, I'm not going, it's a little bit funny. Still going up and down pitch, but the dynamics. So even within any little pitch, it doesn't mean the pitch is the same from beginning to end, even if the short one. There is some motion and movement on the dynamic level going on. So it's a little bit, little bit. It's not little bit, it's little bit funny, funny. So just like I'm speaking, and I know I'm not singing 100% like Elton John, and I don't want it. I'm just trying to make a point here. This fee, this fee. See how it's not this feeling inside, and it's not this feeling, it's this feeling inside, side. It's not side, and it's not side, side. So whenever there is tension in the music, kind of leaning into it a little bit more, and whenever there is a point of release, I'm taking it back just a little bit. Also, it really gives your audience a sense of where the motion goes. This is kind of very advanced stuff, but I know that you can hear the difference. So it is really important not only to pay attention to the details on the dynamic level, even in that microcosmos, but also what does the singer do? Are there little neighboring tones? What are the ad-libs like? If you want to resemble the original style of a song, really pay attention. Start listening to those details. Side, I'm not one of those. It's not, I'm not one of those. It's not like it says in the sheet music that it's all 16th. It's a little bit more rubato, it's free. It's, it, it really leans on the natural rhythm of speech. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. So it's really relaxed. It's kind of very much like I would speak. And in popular music, that is the case most of the time. They don't want to be too stiff. You don't want to be too kind of calculated. You want to make it feel like you're naturally telling a story. So that's what I mean by the devil is in the detail and the microcosmos of singing. Pay attention to those really small things that make a huge difference though. Thank you so much for watching today. Do subscribe if you have not and give the video a thumbs up if you like it. I love seeing those thumbs up. And if you have not joined my Facebook group, master your voice. Just look for it. And there's tons of singers from all over the world, all levels, singing all genres. So we have opera, we have jazz, we have pop, we have musical theater. 
people who sing all kinds of stuff and it's so much fun to see that because I'm about like singing all these genres and I even like to learn. Sometimes there's people singing stuff in different languages that I don't even know. It's very awesome. So I would love to see you there to continue the conversation. If you want to work with me personally, look at my website masteryourvoice.tv. There's also tons of free resources. So until next time, don't forget, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye now.